In the year 2000, the two video game publishers LucasArts and THQ started a partnership after they had reached an agreement that allowed THQ to turn LucasArts licensees into games for the Nintendo Game Boy family of handheld consoles. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon, released on the Game Boy Advance, released in 2003. The game wants players to pilot the Millennium Falcon in 14 missions, interweaving the original trilogy movie storyline with all new plot twists. You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? Should I have? Developed by the British company Pocket Studios, the game presents itself as a 3D aerial shooter game in which the story follows the pilots of the Falcon, smuggler Han Solo and his Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca. When they fail to pay off a debt to Jabba the Hutt, Imperial soldiers board their ship. Solo and Chewbacca fight them off and after an encounter with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Luke Skywalker, battle the evil empire to help save the galaxy. You're all clear kid, now let's blow this thing and go home! Great shot kid, that was one in a million! During gameplay, the player is able to pilot not only the Falcon, but various other spacecraft like the X-Wing and even a speeder bike or land speeder. Each vehicle brings its own type of gameplay, consisting of either close range battles or high speed flying action. The fast land speeder for example, is used in a level in which the player has to finish a race before the time runs out. While the game uses the story of the original trilogy, it also introduces new twists never seen before, such as various new battles with enemy forces. These twists bring the player to new locations to fight, like an asteroid field, inside canyons and even the skies on Endor. While fighting a way through the story, players face enemies like TIE Fighters, Star Destroyers, Slave One and both Death Stars. Despite Flight of the Falcon's powerful 3D engine, the game could not handle what the level designers wanted to pull off in the game. As the missions become more complex, the engine struggles to keep up with the action on screen. The frame rate chugs along to a point where many players deem the game unplayable. With frustrating controls, lagging animation and levels that go on for far too long, Flight of the Falcon proved the Millennium Falcon is just a piece of junk.